Hey guys, um, welcome to Sandra Said What. I hope you guys had a very, very happy holiday and a very Merry Christmas. Happy, a very happy Hanukkah. I know that Kwanzaa started yesterday. So to those who are still celebrating, I wish you a very happy, healthy Kwanzaa. And yeah, and the new year is coming up. I still would like to know your resolutions. Let me know at Sandra Said What at gmail.com, facebook.com forward slash Sandra Said What, or Instagram, Sandra, S-A-N-D-R-A, Nico, N-E-I-K-O. I know it's the holiday season and I was asked what charities would I recommend that you guys donate to because I know it's the holiday season so you guys are feeling very charitable and which one would I recommend because as everyone I'm sure by now knows the whole scandal that happened with the Clinton Foundation and what they did in Haiti and how it was discovered that they were more than misusing and abusing the money that they were getting and they were doing literally next to nothing. The reality is you guys that is not the first time that that happened and it's still happening with other organizations it's just I guess the Clinton Foundation is the one that was discovered. As far as charity goes honestly I don't believe in charity and donating to charitable causes such as you know quote unquote third world country charities and all those stuff you know save the little children in Africa and Haiti and other things like that charity does not work and before you jump the gun I'm going to tell you why the most important thing for a country is to be self-sustaining if that country is not able to provide for itself and its citizen and provide job land labor resources are the most important things to any country to be able to function properly if they do not have that and they cannot sustain themselves it doesn't matter how much you give or how many times you give until people learn to be self-sufficient they will not be able to care for themselves what i would suggest is if you want to do something for a country and you want to be able to contribute to that country's success and well-being i say travel to that country tourism is one of the biggest biggest things to any country tourism is one of the biggest things that kind of boost up the economy and while you're there you are providing jobs to the locals and you are helping people help themselves i don't believe in just coming and distributing food or clothing or things like that of course there's a time and place for that when people need immediate relief such as like when there's a hurricane and things like that but that country should be able to have its own resources and better prepare for catastrophic events like that first of all i want to say this i don't want people to think that i'm saying you shouldn't donate to fema or you shouldn't donate to the red cross and things like that for immediate relief but what we need to do is have these countries have their own femas if you know what i mean their own red cross so that when disasters happen that they are prepared to go and rescue their own people and if they do need outside outside help i'm not saying that we shouldn't consider that but we should first reduce the impact that natural disasters specifically have on this country and then when it comes to fixing the problem this country should have enough making sure that they have enough to help themselves if you take um the earthquake that happened in mexico a lot of people did die there's no denying that and it was a 9.0 magnitude earthquake and when you consider the earthquake that happened in haiti it was 7.0 magnitude earthquake so but the people who died from the magnitude the 9.0 magnitude earthquake was significantly less than those who died from the 7.0 magnitude earthquake why because the infrastructure does not work and i think during the hurricane season that's why when that happens when hurricanes happen in haiti it's a big big deal it's because the, the houses they really can't withstand they're not prepared for that and the other thing that happens is like the cut down of trees there is no nothing to basically withstand the winds to kind of set it back so 
and a lot of people do talk about how Haitians need to stop cutting trees and whatever but if these people don't have electricity they don't have the how are they supposed to eat so you see this is a whole other problem people just like sometimes to judge without considering other factors not only telling them why they shouldn't cut the trees but providing them with viable solutions and alternatives and a lot of the times people who go to these so-called third world countries to donate it's not really an altruistic act it's mostly from them feeling it's from a feeling of superiority we don't see the value in foreigners as I've said before and then we don't give them good jobs we've people always treat foreigners as if the inability to speak English with this American accent or another kind of um, American accent that's considered good or valuable as if that is a form of intelligence. Language is not intelligence. Just because someone speaks with an accent, that only means that they are able to speak another language that you probably cannot. So we don't put them in positions of power. You, If you really want to do something for a country and you are in a position of power, you need to hire people from that country because the likelihood of that, a lot of that money is going back to that country to take that, care of that person's family or maybe that person is trying to build a good business there or trying to help their country from the ground up and not just you know going and doing things that's for immediate relief we need to think long long term like them give them a good job give them a promotion give them a raise that's what you need to do if you really want to do something great for the world if you really want world change you have to start being selfless and start thinking about the people also you're putting in power the people you're voting for and putting in office, those are the people that are keeping foreigners behind. Those are the people that make it hard for these other countries to function. One of the other things that happen, that happens in other so-called third world countries who are not able to provide for themselves and their citizens is the brain drain. The brain drain is that where you're smartest and brightest. Everyone, nobody wants to live in a situation where they're where they're uncomfortable. That's why there's a lot of refugees. People are trying to flee to see where they can find a better life. And what happens with that is the best and brightest minds from that country ends up leaving and goes to another country. And then this is actually beneficial to this country because now you have someone who is so intelligent in your country that's able to help you and your economy and that when that person could be home performing services to that country and we think to help that country we need to go and take out their kids and adopt kids and a lot of celebrities do that there is more to other people's countries children belong with their families that's what people need to understand they belong with their family imagine if you were to be taken away from your mother that's a hard thing so and a lot of people would say well if they're living in a bad condition what we need to ensure is that this country is functioning properly that they will have the best opportunities available to them with their family children belong with their parents and we don't need to go rescue them we need to ensure that these people can function properly and not by inserting what we feel like functioning is usually they come in with a feeling of entitlement to these people's lands and their culture that they are going to insert within that culture whatever they feel whatever change they feel necessary without considering what these people in this culture va value and what these people in this culture want that creates conflict because you're coming especially Americans. Americans come into other people's countries thinking, you know, their way of life is it. That's the best possible way of way of life. That's the best way to live. When in fact, there are other cultures. Other cultures have so much more beautiful things that you guys don't take the time to understand and to try to go along with that you guys miss that whole culture or when people go there they either look for the American experience within that culture or let's go shopping let's go clubbing let's go do this let's go do that instead of that culture's actual experience or if they seek that so-called culture's experience is that they will look for the worst 
possible experience for that culture to come back and take or they will go to the ugliest places the most dirty places and take pictures and show you know this is what this country really is oh my gosh we need to save them we need to rescue them what people are doing and on a daily basis is not being considered just like when you're looking on TV you're seeing countries all you see is people like eating from the trash or when they talk about so-called Africa which is a big continent filled with different countries and different values and beliefs but it's just grouped up as Africa if you think Africa is just one thing it's really not and they don't consider it when you see people talk about Africa or you see anything about Africa on TV it's either gun violence or people being murdered and or the worst experience or they just show you the safari as if Africans only uh, animals is what represents Africa no there's a whole group of people okay they have their daily way of life how they survive they cook they laugh they have fun they enjoy their music african culture is lit it's not a coincidence that some countries are way well off while other countries always need help it the system a lot of people like to say that the system doesn't work the system works it works exactly the way that it's supposed to it promotes those that should promote and the most those it needs to the most a lot of the time there are people who do have good intentions for their own country and outside forces prevent them from being able to participate in that country's government in global social change there is something referred to as colony as a way of life colony as a way of life came about during the time of enslavement of kidnapping and so after we experienced that we continued that tradition because that's how that's the model that we saw and we never broke away from it which has never been rehabilitated and that's one of the reasons why these so-called politicians in their own countries who are supposed to be helping their countries do and get better they actually don't charity is not really the term I would use the proper term I, that I would use I would really say long-term care I would go with that <laughs> if you really really want change you're going to have to be selfless and travel to those countries and change the way you think about the people from these countries because people may think that they're not racist or they're not um, prejudiced Men, a lot of people most people are prejudiced so do your own research, educate yourself, and give people better opportunities. Travel with an open mind and have be open to the experience. And don't be looking for the worst thing that you can find so that you can reinforce the stereotype, which is, there's something called the stereotype threat. The stereotype threat is where people are more likely to become anything that you have projected onto them as far as their group to be. For example, if I am, black and I live in America and all I see I'm a black woman all I see is black women being loud mouthed and getting pregnant or whatever all these negative things I'm not saying that this is necessarily the case I am more likely to become that the stereotype threat is very very real that was my advice to you if you do choose to donate to a charity please 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 know who you're donating to hopefully you guys learned something from this and if you want to get to a problem you're gonna have to get to the root of to the root of the problem. So again, you guys, let me know your questions. I will post a new video on Saturday. Oh, speaking of this, this is kind of similar. I guess um, Donald Trump said the 15,000 um, Haitian immigrants have all have AIDS and um, and um, all Africans live in huts. And so someone asked me my opinion on that. I will be sharing that with you on Saturday. And I can't wait to see you. Questions, Sandra said what at gmail.com. Comments, like, share, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. And I will talk to you. Oh, Instagram, Sandra Nico, Facebook. Facebook, what's my Facebook? <laughs> Facebook.com forward slash Sandra said what? Twitter, Sandra underscore normal n-o-r-m-i-l i will talk to you guys in the, in the next video have a great great one and happy new year even though i'm gonna see you on saturday i still want to wish you a happy new year happy kwanzaa to all my people have a good one bye bye